Hello, my name is Pedro. In this video, I will show you how to synchronize Pro Tools and Reaper using uh, MIDI time code. So we want Pro Tools to control Reaper. Every time I start Pro Tools, it will start uh, Reaper as well, exactly on the same place. So in, in the same time code or same bar and beats. In this example, I'm using time code, but the same is true for bar and beats. So it starts exactly in the same place. So let me show you. Uh, so I just started the session in Pro Tools. I pressed start in Pro Tools and it started on Reaper as well. And you see the time code is synchronized. Um, once I stop it, you see there's a slightly difference, uh, 50 milliseconds. So it's not perfectly synced. There's, I tried different ways. I, I could not find a, um, a, a way to synchronize it perfectly. So you have to consider that you will, uh, on average, uh, about 50 milliseconds of desynchronization. So for critical applications, this might not work for you, but for other applications, um, that might not be a problem. Let me show you again. Let's try again. Let's see that. So right now we have only 30 milliseconds of difference. So it varies. It's not always the same. It, it depends. Um, how long it takes for Reaper to start. Um, there's a slight lag, so maybe a few milliseconds lag. Reaper doesn't exactly start um, exactly at the same time, but then uh, it synchronizes. Now, it might take like half a second to start, but once it starts, um, it's synchronized, maybe offset by 30 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds, as we saw before. So let's see how we can... Um, have both Pro Tools and Reaper synchronized. First thing you need to do, uh, you need to go to Pro Tools and check here, MTC. If you don't see it, uh, press on this triangle and check if you have synchronization on. If, you, if it's off, you don't see it. If it's on, oops. If it's on, you will see it. Uh, once, you, once you have MTC checked, go to Setup and the Peripherals. And then here you press, and then you go to MTC generator port, press on the drop down, drop down menu and select loop MIDI port. Loop MIDI port is a virtual MIDI cable. So basically it's, a, it's like a physical cable that is sending just the MIDI uh, from Pro Tools into Reaper. Um, so check um, the website uh, to download it. Uh, it's really very easy to install. So uh, check this website. You can find the link in the description. Then click Download Loop MIDI. And run the installation. I recommend to press to uh, Auto Start Loop MIDI when logging in. So it starts every time you uh, start your computer. Install it. It only takes seven megabytes, so it's a very small. And here it is. You don't need to change any settings. You can just close and it will keep running in the background. If you are on Mac, you don't need to use Loop MIDI port. Instead, you go to Audio MIDI Setup. It should look like this. I don't have Mac, so I don't know exactly. So you should have something like this, Audio MIDI Setup then you will need to use this driver instead of Loop MIDI IAC driver. Uh, once you press on IAC driver, you should see something like this. And then what you need to do is just uh, enable and press here, devices online. And then once you do this, you should see uh, this uh, IAC driver enabled uh, in Pro Tools and you can, uh, you can select it. So once you have Loop MIDI port installed, you go to Reaper and you go to the preferences. Control P or options and then preferences. And then here go to audio MIDI devices and right click on loop MIDI port and check if you have both enable input and enable input for control message on. And then uh, go to the transport bar, right click on the play button and you will see this window. Uh, by default, enable synchronization to timecode should be off, and so you check it. And here on the use input drop down menu, select MTC loop MIDI port. 
here I won't change it and yeah, I will keep it like that. Yeah, then it should play. That's all you need to do. If for some reason Reaper disconnects, uh, it's not following prop tools properly, click uh, on play button once. It just happens, uh, it just happens when you, you, you open Reaper for the first time, then it won't happen again. So if, if you, if it's not perfectly synchronized, just press on the play button once and then try to run Pro Tools again and, and it should be uh, synchronized. Everything that I just showed before, if you are on a Mac, instead of using the loop MIDI um, driver, instead you will, you will need to use the IAC driver um, that I showed before how to um, enable that on Mac. In the next video, I will do the same thing, but instead of Reaper, I will be using Ableton. It's like the process is slightly different, so uh, make sure to uh, check that video if you if you are interested. And that's it. If you have any question, drop me a comment in the video, and I will try to to help you. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.